Hello, everyone. You're listening to Alternative Revelations with Linda Emanuel, and this is podcast number 107. And I have not been podcasting for a while because I've had a lot of things going on in my life, which maybe I'll reveal to you here. But I'm going to give you a message from Creator what's really going to be happening in September, October. It, it really kind of uh, sent my hair standing. Um, it's going to affect me and what's going to go on and this is what's coming this is a plan that doesn't mean it's going to happen for sure but what's going to happen in september if you noticed on youtube fema is mass hiring and fema has taken co total control of our country and in september october and i will give people a warning because i will be warned in september october fema is going to do a mass roundup of people who are uh, knowledgeable who share the truth and who and also they're going to be gathering up politicians anybody that uh, is in the know but is not luciferian or satanic so it's going to be a big big uh, fight going on people who are in the know are they're going to put up a resistance and they're not going to go down easy now in my case i already have a plan of action um i can't reveal it here because they, let, they monitor me and they consider me um, one of their targets. I'm very small beans compared to other people, but maybe my message is pretty good because I tell people about the bioweapon that got unleashed on us in the 70s and 80s and ways to kill it. And yes, many, many people now wearing these stupid masks. Sorry about the adjective there um people wearing these masks they're only hurting themselves they're getting less oxygen which can activate a mycoplasma infection they're getting stressed out and traumatized uh, this is all a plan i don't have to tell you this if you're listening to my podcast you probably already know and the september october event will be like a stealth operation it will take place at night when people are unsuspecting so if you feel like you're possibly on a list uh, you might want to have a plan of action and I will give a again I will give a warning uh, spirit will give me a warning when it is going to take place and I have suggested in a previous podcast that you start penduluming uh, the other side uh, asking questions communicating um, you don't have to consider this dealing in the dark uh, you deal with the Christ energy I gave instructions before you, I got my first pendulum. I got a pull chain with it's kind of like a pen, like a, a little gadget on the end of a chain at Home Depot for two dollars and fifty cents. Mine was like a fake crystal uh, ball that was actually plastic. You want something lightweight on the end of the chain, and what you do is you hold you hold the chain about five. You want the chain to be about five or six inches, and you hold the chain with the I'm going to call it a um, a pendant you hold it and hold it your hand totally still but first you want to get the en your energy on the pendant hold it in your hand for about a minute and then hold the chain either two hands or one hand I usually do two hands and I hold my hands totally still and the pendant at the end of the chain is held perfectly still not moving so you're holding the chain and the pendant is at the end of the chain dangling but not moving and ask for a yes and just hold per perfectly still and the pendant will start moving and then ask for a no and then ask are you the Christ energy and you should get a yes if you don't get a yes and you get a no you might have a demon uh, interfering and you might want to burn some sage okay so you've gotten your yes and your no and then you can ask questions of spirit spirit will not tell you what to do uh, they will you know you have to I I trust and when I hear a voice in my head I usually confirm it and uh, so I feel totally protected so I, I never really ask to put white light around myself but some people who pendulum they ask spirit to put white light and protect them so you might want to do that at first but I am so protected I just take it for granted that I am so I really do suggest getting a pendulum so you can protect yourself uh, I may not be here in like September, October. I may be in hiding, you know. So um, what has been going on in my life, why I've been so busy is, I'll give you an example. Last night, well, my son, I live with my son. He's 39. And he's been furloughed from the hospital because hospitals are doing so bad. 
and he watches YouTube channels and he's very spiritual he's actually more spiritually uh, endowed than I am he can sense uh, energy and he opened up this video and all of a sudden he broke out in this horrific sweat and then he started shaking and trembling and then he ran to the bathroom and emptied out and I thought he had the flu I thought you know I, I said to myself how could he get sick we're not really exposing ourselves to anybody you know so then um, we later found out when Joanne came over today uh, we started asking and what we he actually found out yesterday he pendulumed and this demon uh, was attached to this video even though he had watched this video before and it had tried to enter him and he said that at the base of his uh, neck uh, right above his shoulders where his spine is this is where they try to enter he felt a real cold um, like a weight on his neck it was trying to enter through his spine but for some reason it couldn't enter and then how he got it away was of course he got out of that video but then he uh, put on some frequency on YouTube and that a real high frequency and that seemed to drive it away but it it really terrified him and um, it, it did me too I just you know you just don't know about these video uh, channels on YouTube that's why I'm suggesting you get a pendulum and pendulum whether uh, the channel is safe or not and um, all my podcasts and my YouTube uh, videos are not cursed there are no demon attached to them and I will uh, be told by spirit if they are and I will find the one that was if, if it does get cursed I will take it off so right now my videos and my podcasts are safe so what has been going on with me why I haven't really done much podcasting uh, the dark forces have been targeting me again about two years ago I was gonna go on the power hour and they knocked out my electrical uh, to my car they knocked out my router they knocked out my email and I decided not to go on the power hour because it just kind of shook me up a little bit well they're they're really coming down on me they they've unleashed a six dimensional dark energy force not a demon it's an energy force and they did it uh, they put the energy force into the neighbor that lives above me and it just does sound crazy but it's not and what happened is um, about a month ago she started we have uh, I live in a two-story apartment building there's two units on each side and we have basement privileges where we can have a washer dryer and we have outlets that are that each of us pay for and what happened about a month ago she unplugged my washer and freezer and plugging her uh, washer into my electric and my freezer thawed out and I lost all the contents well I knew it was her because she would always been trying to cause me trouble but not in this way so I contacted management but management said well we can't do anything we can't prove it you have to prove it get a camcorder so on June 8th and she had been doing it for about two weeks on June 8th I went down to the basement and staked out the basement with my um, phone and at that particular time I did not know that she had this six dimensional dark energy inside of her and when she came down 15 minutes after I did she ripped out my cords and I proved it and then on it escalated and by June 16th I had about four or five more videos of her doing this and I'm also going to add that I couldn't do my laundry unless she was gone because she would come down and rip out the cord uh, my washer cord for my outlet and I proved that she did it but right now I filed a protective order against her in court so in the meantime after this was all happening a uh, creator tells me that she's got this six dimensional energy force which is very powerful and very dark in her and is not a demon and that explains why when she if she would have had a demon in her when she came down to the basement the demon would have sensed to me and she would not have done what she did but the energy force is just pure energy and it's in her and I, I think I consider her a victim you know I don't hate her I don't know what to do of course I'm staying away from her because this dark this six-dimensional energy force is in her driving her
So I've got a, I'm probably going to get the protective order because I got a slam dunk. I'm, I've learned how to do a subpoena. I've subpoenaed the uh, management to come to court on Ju July 16th. So, you know, this is, um, it's rough when you're out in the spotlight or not, maybe not spotlight, but you're out there telling the truth. They target you. So uh, my friend Joanne, she won't go in the spotlight and she's not going to be targeted. But Spirit again has told me that, yes, I'm going to be the ones, some one of the ones that are going to be targeted in September, October, this coming September, October, when this is a big event. So if you're a truther out there, or you know somebody that's a truther that's out there putting out the truth, they need to really um, start pendulum and ask for protection and ask for a warning if they're going to when when and if they're going to be rounded up. So um, it's been a very busy month for me between my son, this happening to my son, and this thing happening um, to me with my neighbor with the six dimensional dark energy force and how it got into her I forgot to say this how it got into her a witch was uh, sent to her she was at Walmart and she was on either on the sidewalk or the parking lot and the witch got within a couple of feet of her and I know this sounds crazy the witch got in a couple of feet of her and that's how the energy force got put into her from this witch who was called out specifically to do this I know it sounds far-fetched but you know these people uh, uh, they deal in the dark, you know, and the last thing I want to talk about is I'm going to do my next podcast is going to be about um, Enlil or Satan and Lucifer. I'm going to put a link on uh, in the description of my podcast. There's the most fantastic enlightening. I don't know if it's enlightening, but informative um, YouTube by a, a man by the last name of Swindoll S-W-I-N-D-O-L-L -L, and Deborah Tavares put it out that's how I saw it and it's a hundred percent accurate why the Luciferians drink the blood why they kill their victims why they torture and abuse their own children it's a totally revealing thing it reveals the truth about Adam and Eve and Cain and Abel most amazing information you've got to listen to it but my next podcast I'm, I'm not saying that he it, it's a hundred percent accurate that's from creator but I'm going to come out with a, a, a podcast next time and reveal even more truth about this subject and about who about Enlil and about the energy and everything like that my friend and I Joanne she came over today and we spent all afternoon um, collaborating with spirit and getting more story about this it's just really fascinating if we know our past we can understand the present and one more note if you have questions for address to creator and creator has given me permission to do this you can email me I can't creator will not tell you what to do but I will ask creator for the answer uh, so I'm going to leave my email address in the description of this podcast and if you have a question uh, just send it to me I like I said I uh, creator will not tell you what to do but maybe I'll have an answer for you and the answer will be in the form of a yes or a no or an I don't know. And if not, I'll let you know. And also, sometimes uh, Creator does put it in my head, the answer you're looking for. But I can't guarantee it all the time. It depends upon privacy. So always seek the truth. Your truth. Question everything. Even this podcast. Question it. Find your truth. That's what it's all about. The Luciferians and the Satanists, they're scared to death of intelligent, knowledgeable people. And then find people of like mind that you can talk to about it all. So be aware, prepare, and be safe from FEMA in the upcoming September, October event. And until next time, good night and God bless.